Ah, it's such an exciting show today. And we're talking about family life too. Now, earlier we touched on uh, when is the right time in telling your child that they're adopted, as well as adoption and how it can change an existing family situation and also dynamics. Well, we are still continuing that conversation this morning. Our clinical psychologist, Catherine Lahafta, is in our studio this morning. Catherine, let's just talk about adoptive parents. So let's say the adoptive parents would like a healthy relationship with the biological parents. Is such a thing possible? Does one have the involvement of the biological parents in the uh, adoptive family's lifestyle? I think, I think it is possible to have a healthy relationship. I think it takes a lot of work. So in the same way that a marriage would have ups and downs and easy times and hard times, a relationship between adoptive parents and biological parents would be the same. But there's three parties. I mean, isn't it confusing? I think it can be quite confusing. And I think it's, it's important for the families to remember that you need to do what's the best thing for the child. Mm. I think it's very useful to have an agreement up front so everybody knows what to expect in terms of when will contact happen, how will contact happen, will it just be letters and photos, who's allowed to initiate mm. contact, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and I think it's important that if there are problems, to seek help, to go mm. and see a facilitator or a mediator to help negotiate those tricky times. You said so many valuable things. A mediator, because no one ever thinks about that when you have a few problems, right? You don't think, oh, we need someone objective. Mm. And I love what you said about pictures and letters. It doesn't mean that you have to have a relationship. It mm. just means to avoid confusion. There could be letters and pictures mm. showing this is where you came from, right? Mm. When we think of expectations, what are some of the realistic expectations that people can have? So adoptive parents around adoption, what are some of the realistic expectations that one can have? And I also want to say starting this new family. I think, so I think the first thing is that, as you said earlier, the adoption process does take time. So there is a period of waiting once your application has been approved before the child gets formally placed with you. Um, so it's, it's important to be patient, but also to drive the process as much as possible. Mm. Um, I think the other expectation that needs to be set is that you're going to really need to dedicate a lot of time to building that attachment with the immediate family. So that's adoptive mom, adoptive dad, whatever siblings there are. And for a while, keep extended family away because mm. that can be confusing because the child's already had other caregivers or at least one other caregiver. So they need to establish that primary bond first before others can get involved. Catherine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're talking adoption and also your family as well. It can be healthy, it can be done, and there's always a solution. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Time to find out what's coming up next.